Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel, Data Driven Decisions. Today I'm going to show you a no scroll dashboard, one where um, there isn't no there isn't a scroll up and down, but there are bookmarks that will change the sheet on the fly. Um, so that you know, some dashboards you you don't like to have a scroll, and uh, that's what I'm creating right now. Um, I got my Power BI uh, Finance dashboard up and running, and uh, let me share my screen and show you what I'm building. So I'm working on um, a no scroll overview dashboard, one where um, you know uh, I can I can scan through it every month and and get a quick view of what my overall finance health is. So this is a dashboard that doesn't have a, any scroll up or down. I didn't change the page size of this dashboard. It's it's the default. However, there are clickable links at the top, which are called bookmarks, that seem to change the dashboard. With, but behind the scenes, it's actually all in the same dashboard. I'm just making use of um, bookmarks and uh, selections. Um, so uh, yeah, you know, this is a nice dashboard. It starts off with the front page. I kind of want to, you know, what's the big picture of my finances for the month? We're looking at the month of April right now. Um, you know, my net worth was at 135,000. Uh, my cash flow was negative 2,000. Uh, I spent a hell of a lot of money, $19,618. Um, I did get, paid a lot of money too since i had my bonus that month of seventeen thousand. Uh, my net worth changed it decreased by three thousand and um i did cash in some of my roth 401k so my net investment gain uh was way below um, to the left you see um the cash flow uh plots um starting off with uh, month over month income um where in green it shows this month's income by day and then in black that's last month's so um you know i get paid twice a month on the 15th and on the 31st but what but this month i did get um a bonus right at the end of the month and uh yeah i made a quite a bit of money but i did spend a lot of money looking at the in, in the red uh the month over month spend um i was a consistent spender all month um, spending tons of money and I did spend a lot of money the prior month um, you know ever since my finances haven't been uh, measured by myself I inherently lost track of my finances and uh, uh, you know spent a lot of money here's my overall cash flow um, so cash flow is the difference between your take-home pay, pay and your total spend and uh, you know um, Came up at a little short with uh, at negative thousand, negative two thousand three hundred, but uh, yeah, that's that. And then to the right over here, it's uh, the monthly budget table showing um, the account balances of my account categories. You know, the main categories are cash, savings, credit cards, retirement, and house. And then uh, to the bottom right is. Uh, my total spend in the month by these uh, main categories. Um, if I go to the spend table, um, what's really cool about you know this the, this dashboard is I'm really making use of the connectivity of this data model. Um, if I go to the dashboard, you know we see how we have a very intricate data model, and uh, I'm using. Um, information from both of the two data models and they all are connected from the dim tables um, and that's really nice so you know this this table comes from um the the mint the transaction table whereas this comes from the budget table so um it's really nice that you know i'm, I'm able to you know cross all the different tables and uh, show the information all sorts of ways on the same page. Um, to the left over here, um, it's broken. It, it breaks down the spend categories and then shows the total spend. And then there's uh, drill down functionality where I can drill into, say, dog. And here are the the, the granular categories of dog. And then if I want to go into the transactions, I can do that right there. So I can see here are the three transactions that I spent at the vet 
So this is a nice tool just to see uh, my spend and then drill down all the way into um, transactions. And then to the right over here is um, my actual spend across these main spend categories versus the goal in blue. And you can see that I was way over uh, my goal. Spent a lot on clothes, spent a lot on home, spent a lot on dating, spent a lot on exercise, spent a lot on food. And then here's my total spend by account. So, um, you know, I pay my mortgage through my checking account, but, you know, most everything else gets spent on a credit card. Um, going to the credit cards page, um, we see um, my total credit card debt. And then uh, how much was spent on the credit card in a month, in the month of, of April? How much was paid towards credit cards that month? How much did I receive in credit card rewards? What was my credit card debt last month? And what was the credit card balance diff? Which uh, isn't right. Um, to the left over here shows uh, all my accounts and then how much I spent on each credit card account. How much did I make a payment towards? And then how much did I receive rewards in? Um, to the right over here is um, uh, the credit card debt uh, by, by credit card. So most of my credit card debt is on my Bank of America. And then uh, this is just the change in the, in the credit card balance month over month. So yeah, this is um, you know a nice dashboard different than all the other ones I had where you know all the rest had uh, you know a up and down scroll. This I'm bringing to one page and you know I'm just gonna keep filling it up with bookmarks to show um, you know different views of all this data. You know I have a lot of different uh, ideas for for bookmarks such as accounts, um, pay, retirement, um, you know. Uh, you know, bring 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 everything uh, together into one dashboard so that I have like a quick reference dashboard. And, uh, you know, it's looking pretty good and I'm happy about it and uh, I'm going to continue working on it. Um, thanks for watching this video and uh, stay tuned. Hello, welcome back. I added some uh, new pages to this overview dashboard and uh, I figure why not uh, build the sixth page uh, right before you uh, just to show you how it's done. Um, but yeah, I got, um, you know, I, you saw the front page, the spend, the credit card. Um, I added pay. So everything about pay, you know, this is just, uh, uh, you know, dashboard really shows a breakdown of the money that I, that comes in, what gets taken out, pre-tax whether it be taxes, medical, HSA, retirement, um, other forms of income, all the way to my net take home, which, uh, which you see in green. Um, so yeah, this is a nice dashboard that just kind of shows, uh, you know, what the money looks like, um, um, before, before take home, you know, everything that comes, uh, before take home, uh, you know, what, what, what happens with the money? So, you know, for the month of April, I made, uh, $27,000. That was my total earnings. And, um, I took home 17,000 of that, um, 9,000 got taken out pre-tax. And then here's the breakdown of what got taken out pre-tax. Uh, you know, here's a total of 401k input, both, uh, the match and what I put in, uh, taxes paid, and then HSA paid in, and then medical. Um, and uh, you know this table right here is is a nice matrix. Um, uh, you know possible because I uh, turn uh, turn the data into columnar data. Um, I can show you in BigQuery. So um, I go up to the top, here's the table of contents, every single table in its order. Um, and, uh, you know, if I go to the pay table, you see what I'm doing here. I'm, uh, this is how you turn uh, wide data into long data 
into columnar data. Um, you know, I'm just kind of creating creating a row in the data, uh, just honed in on um, on uh, you know this variable right here. So, and then I'm stacking it with the next another variable. So, you know, beforehand the data, you know, hourly wage was a field, net wage was a field, bonus was a field, and uh, it was a very wide table. But now it's going to be a very long table where you're not going to see variables such as hourly wage and net wage and bonus. They're all getting clumped into the amount. And then this field right here is telling you what what the field is. Um, so, yeah, that's, you know, if I go to um, show you what the input table looks like. This is, you know, the main Excel file, the monthly finance file, unique by month. And uh, as you can see, it has tons and tons of fields. It's a very wide table. It's only unique by month. And then I try to squeeze in as much information I want to know about the month. And this is a great table. However, um, it's not as nice working with a table this of with this many variables. Um, you know, some of these variables are grouped together, such as pay, such as retirement, such as spend, and I I, I group those categories in the into their own columnar tables. So this is the input table, very very wide. And let's show you the output table. It's going to be very very long or tall so as you can see um there's only six fields in this table and uh it's not unique by month anymore it's unique by month and by metric name and uh this is what you would call a semi-additive table, wherein you can't really sum up the metrics across the board, but in select categories or select metrics, you can sum them up and it does make sense. And I do make use of that. So, you know, when working with um, this overview dashboard, I like working with these columnar tables and that's what I've been doing within each page and it makes things a lot easier you know this is a direct benefit of the columnar table bit build, building a hierarchical uh, matrix table something you would never be able to do with a very very wide table um so yeah you know um this is the the pay table this is what i want to look at just to figure out what's happening to my money uh, before I get paid. Next is the account table. So this is all of my accounts. And I break my account down, accounts down into these six categories, cash, savings, credit cards, retirement, house equity, and truck equity. And the sum of that equals my net worth. Um, and then this matrix right here looks at those uh, categories. You don't see um, the truck until May, which um, you know is still in the future. You know that ends in two days. But now I'm looking at May, so I got the truck equity, which is negative eight thousand. I just bought it, and uh, I definitely bought it for way more than what it was worth. But um, you know you can go into the cash bucket and see all of the accounts. And then here's the balance um, of such accounts. So that's a nice uh, matrix to look at. You know, here's all my savings. I have tons of savings accounts, but not much money in any of them. Here's all my credit cards. 
and then their their balance at the end. This is uh, you know not actual. This is predicted retirement. My house, so I got the house mortgage, which is a negative three thousand seven hundred three hundred seventy three three hundred seventy eight thousand, and the value is four twenty five. So when you sum it up, the equity is forty six thousand positive. Now looking at the truck, the loan is at thirty eight thousand, whereas the value is twenty nine. So the equity is negative eight thousand seven hundred. And uh, that total right there is the same as that net worth. It's 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 additive. Um, that's what's nice about this account table. This is a fully additive table. Everything can be um, um, summed. And then here's just a bar chart showing, uh, um, you know, the the six buckets and their account values. Hello, welcome back. I'm going to show you how to make one of those pages in this overview dashboard. So here's my overview dashboard where this dashboard doesn't have a scroll. There's no up or down or side to side scroll. I went with the default uh, page width. However, there are bookmarks up at the top that is changing the page of the dashboard. And um, I'm going to keep building this out right now. I have six pages to this dashboard. First, starting with the front page, what I want to see you know, overall right off the bat, then spend, then credit cards, then pay, accounts, retirement. And uh, I'm gonna build a seventh one right, right, right now called transactions. And let me show you how that's done. First off, I'm going to uh, copy the bookmark, place it and let's format it. Title, let's call it transactions for style. Let's change the icon. All right, now let's go to the view section and open up bookmarks and selection. And we got to create a new bookmark. Give it a name. First the page, then the bookmark name. Turn off the data uh, form option. And let's hide cards that are still on the page and give ourselves a blank screen. All right, let's update. Now we got a blank screen to work with. Um, pretty simple what I want to do. I want the transaction table. That's going to be the main piece of this dashboard. Just all the transactions. And this is all the spending for March. Now here's all the spending for April. But let's put some KPIs up at top. Let's make a new measure. Distinct count of trans ID. All right. Now we're looking just at spend and let's Bring in transactions as a KPI. Let's make another KPI, total spend. Average transaction amount. Here are all my transactions in order. And uh, now I need to update the page. And then go to every other page and hide these. All right, and I just need to turn on the action for this to make sure it's pointing to transactions. All right. There we go. There's the transaction table. So there's, that's how you make a page um, using bookmarks. Thanks for listening. Have a good one.